Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to PCM20. It's Career Mode, Episode 171. We're in the Punchy Classics today. We begin with the Amstel Gold Race. And after four straight failures in our sponsor objectives, we somehow still have 100% on our evaluation. And I think ultimately we will for this season, kind of regardless of what we do on the objectives, because... When we're not winning our sponsor objectives, we're winning other races. And those races are adding up to enough pluses to uh, outdo the, the losses that we are taking. And then the successes we have, again, outweigh those losses. Uh, but we can't take too many Peru Bays where we had a total failure in a major objective. Amstel Gold is an objective today. Let's see what we can do with this one. This is the relentless undulation. It's up, down, up, down, up, down for a very long period of time. Amstel Gold, of course, is not one of the monuments, but it's not far from it. It's a pretty massive race on the calendar, so this one would go down quite well, uh, but also would go down quite poorly if we don't manage to achieve our objective. Now, the ending itself is not punchy. It's about survival. If you can survive till the end... A sprinter could ultimately win this thing, but that's coming down to survival, and there's a lot of undulation along the way, especially one very, very steep section that uh, really does some damage. Now, we're at the point where we need to get water again. Who do I want to get? Uh, let's go ahead and send a Monotoglu back to get that, as he is much too weak uh, of a climber to really be a factor today, so that's why he's playing the domestique role, even though he could certainly lead out uh, Reykjavik or McKinney. <clears throat> uh, Reykjavik also too weak of a climber. McKinney is on the edge. So if we can get him there, we've got McKinney as one of the riders to ride for. However, our punchy guys for Mark, Eric Butt, well, Butt's not a very good climber. He's a puncher. You need to be able to get over the undulation, so you need to be a decent climber. So Breck is a good climber with a little bit of punchy. Moreno's a good climber, so we'll ultimately ride for them, hope, hope that they're there at the end, and then hope that Vermark and McKinney are there. If we have those four, we'll be in pretty good shape because we'll have a lead out and we'll have a sprinter there. If not, we'll have a little bit of trouble in the end with just one or two guys left, so... Let's hope they can hang on and, and be a, a part of this of thing. And, uh, we've already had Obviously one minor disaster, and that was uh, McKinney going down in an early crash. You can see the weather's pretty poor today, so there's been a lot of falls. McKinney went down, nearly didn't get back to the group. He was in a group containing uh, Roglic, and those guys, the other three riders, none of them were even slightly interested in coming back. So McKinney was riding solo, and eventually I ended up just having to sprint away from the group. Uh, but then another crash ended up linking up with them, and those riders pulled them back. Uh, but those guys themselves were three, three and a half minutes behind the peloton for a good long while. Well, anyway, water task taken care of. Uh, can also start to see that we are getting a little bit of blinking red so let's start to up that effort a little bit as we're now into the final 83 kilometers nine rider break under two minutes now and that peloton is getting smaller and smaller and smaller there's some riders off the back i had noticed that a certain former rider of ours pablo rodriguez was one of the ones involved in a crash i do not know if he's in the peloton or if he's among those who are off the back right now but there are quite a few riders out there's another 70 split off at least at the moment uh, of course we're in that yo-yo type zone right now where if you're gone you're not necessarily gone for good a one minute disadvantage for 70 riders from a group of 83 means they're they're a few bike lengths off uh, regaining contact at the moment presumably and we've got a little lull in the action here as we go forward. 70k to go. We're going to need to get water one final time. We're going to have to do that fairly soon. Uh, this might not be a bad time to do that with Monotoglu, especially when we're a bit on the flat. 24 in the peloton at the moment as it splits off yet again. So Monotoglu able to go back and get that hand up and get water. Ooh, ooh, don't drop back further. You already got your water. Back up there. Get back up there. Come on. You're here. Just finish the task. Finish the task that you have been given. 
There we go. All right. 66 in the current uh, iteration of the Peloton. Now 88. Those nine it's off the front, the it's under a minute, the and they're starting to fall to apart. They've lost the one rider in the F rider coming behind. back into the peloton. The other eight are still just right there at 50 seconds ahead. And with 56k to go, you know that they are very much doomed. Speaking of doomed, we're going to be doomed if we don't up our effort a little Some bit more this late in the race. The so we'll hit an 80 now. Reykjavik is tired. Monotoglu is tired. Eric Butt's feeling it a little bit. Wreck on a minus two. He must have really low resistance with that. He does. 71 stamina, 67 resistance. Uh, that's what's being impacted by his minus two today. But that 81 mountain, that 75 hill has got to get him through. Even if he's feeling a little bit, he should get through to the end. There's not a lot of climbing left to do. Most of the climbing is now behind us. That middle sector was just constant undulation. Speaking of, here's what we have left. We have a couple steep, maybe three steep sections left to get through is all. The pack is just 42k. The group. Let's go ahead and up that effort yet again. Was that really one of those steep sections we just went through? No, no, it's this next hill. And then there's a trip. Whoa, 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 Breck. What? What what are you doing, buddy? Why are you drifting backwards? Mr. Climber is the one who's going backwards. Now there's 25 at the front. The riders are going through a very tough portion with Back together. Above 10 there's no way that he couldn't climb that when everybody oh else my, could. The guys <laughs> up front aren't going to be making too many friends today. All right, I, looks like we might be seeing a move. Two riders trying to attack off the front. That doesn't worry too, doesn't worry me too much. A chase group of 41 with my entire team is going to be very capable of pulling this back, but we do need to up the effort because obviously the race is on here for the final 33k. And if I have all or most of my team, looks like a Monotoglu is going to be sliding out the back here in a moment he's last rider here some this to attack. there you go set him to auto he's here but he's not uh, mckinney struggling with the climbing a little bit this is what i was talking about of trying to get a sprinter to the end but for now he's hanging in there here's that biggest climb Jockeying for position at the front. And we're at 28k to go. Still one more to go after this, though. So we're not going to be done just yet. We are seeing some splits. Maybe. 20 riders left. Chasing two. Okay, we lost Eric, but Moreno. Moreno gets himself dropped. To set him to auto. Eric Butt's been dropped. But now we're looking at 19 chasing two, and I've got three of them. I was hoping for four, but we're okay. Uh, Breck still working at the front, even though I accidentally did that. Okay, so we have McKinney. That's the obvious. Led out by Vermark. And then Breck. We've got to make sure those two don't just go off and win this thing. However, third place is not. Uh, can't write us off if we take third. So let's see if there's going to be some riders chasing. Yes, Hershey, Simmons, Mahoric. You're punchy guys all at the front trying to save their chances. Hell of a leap though sitting on. That's a worry. Pidcock. Got a lot of big names here. Oh, Moreno's the one who got back. One rider gets back and it's Moreno. So, yes, he can go work at the front and chase those two down. Because we'll all have two lead out guys, and I can take that. I'm happy with that. The 
This climb features some dreadful percentages. Short and steep. And that's that final one. Two short little climbs otherwise remain. All 20 still intact. It's a minute to those front two. They are riding solo though. It's going to be really hard for them to hang on with a sprint train style chase in those final 14k. Of course we can't go from 14k out if we expect to have firepower at the end. So we're going to be cutting it close on whether we can catch those two or not, but there they are. Mattaway, Lemisel, Wendling, Shockman, Simmons. Here we go. The attack is on. Reno's done. Uh, we've got to respond now. Breck, I'm going to use your gel. You can see the climbing is what he's good at. The flat, the sprint, the resistance is not. Now we've got Eight riders going clear. Plus the two at the front, I'm assuming. So that's, raining. yeah, ten riders ahead of us. And all of a sudden we're in a chase group of ten. Or a chase group of twelve chasing ten. So now all of a sudden, oh, right, the two at the front plus. Plus the twenty. That makes sense. All right, Breck nearly brought us back. Twenty-five seconds now. He is running out of energy, though. 18k. Holy and on cow, to Vermark. Reno's still here. And Vermark makes contact. There's one of those last couple of hills. The riders are entering and the last we're seeing five attacks yet stage. again. Breck's been dropped. One other rider's been dropped with him. Eric Butt's actually in that next group down the road. Shockman, Alaphilippe, Oliveira. 3k to go, 3k to go. Holy cow. Uh, this is it. This is it. 2.5k to go. Oh my! I can see your rider on the tarmac! Thank goodness he looks fit to 1.5k to go. Vermark starting his sprint. That's three riders ahead of us. We're leaving most of the group behind. We are in a strong position. Makine is going to get third place. Shockman and Alaphilippe won two, but McKinney on the podium ahead of Simmons. Mark grabs fifth. That's good. That's good. We're now at the second of our three punchy classics for this episode. This one, not a sponsor objective and less major than the other two. So I'm going to have to take a little bit of a risk to keep tempo up on this one so that it doesn't take too long. So we actually have a little bit of time to fit in all three of these. So let's hope I don't make a big mistake in doing so as the field just split, or at least for now it did. I was just getting ready to uh, have Wittgenstein go back and get water. For now this is back together, but we are blinking red big time already. This is a lot of pace just into the second of these early climbs. All right, for now it's back together. Lichtenstein, go ahead and go get that water. Uh, Marino's holding this is the last third pace of the front well. The team We've got to get these guys returning to the front. So for now, we need to up their effort quite a bit more than I would like to. But especially when I cannot afford to go down to times one speed There's here. No more than a the <sighs> and the pack. Take the a deep breath. Okay. We're okay. On to the Murdo. 1.4k, but it's 9.4% average. It's got a very steep section right about... Oh yeah, here, 21%, well, 20.9, close enough. And that's where we're going to finish at, folks. It's a steep one. The famed Murdahui and Lichtenstein the nearly back to the front. And meanwhile, Vermark and company, Reykjavich, helping pull Vermark back. Today Some with a, a with actual away. punchy finish, short, steep climb. Uh, this is not going to be down to sprinters. This is very much down to your punchers. So we don't ride for McKinney today. We ride for, for Mark. For Mark on a plus one. That's looking good. The rest of the team not looking so good. Moreno plus two. Several Lichtenstein plus on one. Ground. Lichtenstein's the weakest guy here. So he's a domestique. So only two other riders with any decent race day condition. Breck on a minus four. I mean, this is harsh, harsh race day condition today. And the weather doesn't look bad. So I'm not sure... 
Oh, where we got so unlucky. Fortunately, this one doesn't matter. We are okay, but for Mark has not recovered his ground very well yet that? at all. He's still for this one back. On let's back let's try to Peloton. intentionally Those just send him forward again because behind. for whatever reason, he's gone back and he's seems to be content back there. And that is not the position I want him holding on. yet. So sorry, Reykjavik. It's going to hurt a little bit, but you got to bring us up before we end up missing a split on the, with our leader for the day. There we go. Okay, speed it back up. Breakaway of 9, just over a minute. Peloton already down to 69. Some dreadful percentages. One steep climb after another. Let's also start up in that effort a little bit more now. Reykjavik, Breck, Makine, basically done. Liechtenstein done. This is going to be... This is 40k from the finish, and we're seeing this thing really, really come down. Hard, hard racing so far. We've still got everybody here for the time being, but I think after this next climb, we're going to see, we're gonna see this uh, group decline significantly. Up the Murdohui. Yet again, Liechtenstein going back, there's Breck, there's Reykjavik, and now McKinney starting to fall off, I got three riders left, plus McKinney, set these three guys to auto, see you later, 39 in the group, and make that 34 in the group as McKinney and a few others are distanced, and some additional ones, now it's 29! With 26k to go. Okay, Eric Butt does behind. not have much left. Uh, Vermark is the one who's punching, so we've got to ride for him. 24k to go. We've got just three climbs remaining, technically, but there's a bit more than that, is it there? Well, really just a fourth short, short sector. Uh, Eric Butt, let's see if he makes it through this one. I'm taking a risk that I didn't use his gel yet. Here comes an attack. It's one rider, two riders. We don't have firepower to control that, so we're just going to have to let it go for now. Another attack. It's one rider. It's Alaphilippe going clear. Hershey. I think it was Hershey going clear, not Alaphilippe. It was Hershey. Alaphilippe's already up there. Alaphilippe was trying to attack the guy he's with. Okay, we're down to two climbs and I think it's a little late on the gel for Eric but but we'll see the riders are going through a very tough portion with percentages above 10 percent whoa oh come on this is a full-on attack and Marino and Vermark are not gonna the have the answer to this there's now just 10 kilometers left That's a big miss, because that's more than 10 riders up the road. Approaching that final climb. Reno, it's hurting for Mark just a little bit, but he's going to save some energy compared to those guys if we can stay close enough. Marino needs to use his gel. Eric Butt's gone. That's the front group, and we've missed that. Those guys all attacked on that penultimate climb. And we were just... We were right there, and I saw it. It responded that second too the late. Now Vermark's going to have to go solo to the finish, the but it's 6K. Now, the one thing we do have with this, though, is he can still lead Vermark to the base of the final climb, but can he cover it off from 30 seconds behind? behind Vermark's going to be in much, much behind. better shape than a lot of those guys because they wasted an attack. Right now, we're riding for 12th place, but as we approach the finish, 3.5K, he is, Moreno, is bringing us onto their wheel Again, as they are not going full on. blast. For Mark, we're going to come blast. out of this thing now and make contact, but we're at the back of the group, 1.7K, and we're moving our way up. Those guys are going to be way fatigued compared to there us. It's 1K to go, but we cannot all. do this all at once. For Mark, play this thing smart, 800 meters. Not sprinting because we know how steep this thing is. You can see how guys are falling away. There goes Cosnefoy. There's Toyn. There's the finish coming up. Now we can sprint it out. Can we squeeze between Wykankis? There's Wykankis. 
Uh, Lemisel, Mataway, Wendling. We're going to beat out Wykankis anyway. It's the first time we've seen him since he's left the team. It's going to be a top 10. It's 8th place for Vermark. We, we just about brought that back. By the way, look the who's way up the road. Run, Alaphilippe the held on. The uh, everybody else came together. Line. Hershey, Shockman, round out the podium. We squeeze our way back up into 8th place. Uh, we knock Wykankis out of the top 10. As a result, Vulcan Wykankis, who previously would be the guy we might be riding for. Uh, Moreno did well to help pull that back. He ends up still hanging on for 16th himself. And we beat out that group to do so. I mean, look how big that gap was. Moreno was three minutes down. Uh, for Mark was a half a minute down from Alaphilippe. So that was a two and a half minute cover uh, that we were able managed to do, but it still wasn't what we wanted, but it was better than uh, what we could have had or would have had under the circumstances. So we recovered a few positions. We're now on to Liège, Baston Liège. Final one for the episode, final of the regular classics before we kick off the Giro. And today it's it's survival again. It's it's punchy. There's a lot of climbs, but it doesn't finish on a climb. And there's no murder hui at the end of it. It's it's going to be a survival type thing. So you can see already just on this first climb, even upping the effort to an 80. That's not going to quite do it. First group already split off the back. A second group split off the back. Right off the bat, 90k to go. So we're to coming into that last bit. We still need to get water one more time. And we're going to have to hang on. The, first, the hardest of the climbs are among these first few. So this is where you really just start to separate out some of the weaker riders, weaker climbers, and put some hurting in the legs. For now, you can see Lichtenstein already struggling. He's on minus four to today. It's terrible race day condition. Uh, but Reykjavik struggling back here as not a great climber. This climb features some dreadful percentages. Yeah, and I could see some splits coming over these next couple. You can see Lichtenstein practically standing still now. And he's been dropped. And Reykjavik was temporarily anyway really needs to up his effort if he's going to stay in contact with the peloton and he does successfully so far anyway okay now AFP leader of the day Reykjavik is not going to be the leader Monotoglu though struggling Eric Butt struggling gosh those guys are just ready to get dropped we're only a few climbs in. Got a long ways left, but 84 left in the peloton, and I have a feeling that that's going to stay what that is. Those groups getting dropped are going to stay dropped, because here we go. Up the Col de Rosier. The pack is and on the it's tough, really 6% for 4 kilometers, but or it's, it's, it's tempo. Tempo is what's doing it. I mean, you can see we're blinking red at an 82 and riders are just being dropped left and right, Eric, but also on the verge of going out uh, for Mark struggling a, little, struggling a little bit with the pace as he's not a great climber, not a, a pure climber down. anyway. And we're going to be down to three guys here quite soon as Reykjavik begins his fade and likely drop from the group, though he might hang on and there's a descent coming up, so might still have Reykjavik. He's right at the back of the group. Will he hang on? Will he recover? Heart rate's not too bad. The pack is increasing so he'll get a small so chance, but he won't be around much longer. Let's go ahead and use his gel now, even if he only helps for a moment with AFP. I, I don't know if our Mark's going to be around for the end of this one either. We might be ne needing to ride for Breck today. We'll compare those two here shortly. AFP There's is definitely the, the guy we want to ride for today with a plus five. Excellent race day condition. Reykvich is hanging on for now. This climb, not as bad. You can see for Mark struggling. Only a few riders are capable there goes Reykvich. He did his work. He got us that little bit more. And this peloton just now starting to get attack. smaller. I mean, it's, it's still a sizable group. That second group did regain the contact. Level terms with the group. But that's a lot of riders that are struggling now, getting dropped. 72. 
All right. The riders have I the think we need to use for Merc. It's his resistance. Well, we need a sprinter at the end. And for Mark, Breck is not that. So what I need to do is I need to protect. We need to hope for Mark can make it to the end. And then AFP and Vermark combined can get us some sort of result. Breck is not a sprinter. He can climb, but he is not a sprinter. We're starting to see a new Several attack forming here. The riders are in a portion above 10%. Up that effort. Guys are sliding back a little bit. Easily one of the hardest climbs of the day. We've got one more very hard climb to go, and that's basically the last climb, though it does have a second stage to it. For now, we got two riders at the front and 36 chase. 26 chase, and we're in that chase. All for Mark. Oh, come on, Vermark. You were the one who just lost can contact there. He was in contact, going 90. All right, well, that hurt a lot, losing Vermark there. Part of that was just expediency, trying to keep things moving for the episode, and part of that was my... Mouse died right at the time where I needed to respond with uh, Kevin Vermark and click, well, click, click, behind. nothing. And by the time I realized what had happened, it was a little too late into that matter and nothing I could do. Okay, well, AFP has 85 resistance and stamina and 82 climbing and 77 hills. So he absolutely can contend with this thing. We now have 21 at the front and... The groups are just getting smaller. Vermark in that chase, but he is a little too far back and now lacks the energy. Breck is just about to fade away as we head into the uh, final little sequence of climbs. And AFP, I think, needs to be involved in whatever happens there uh, in terms of an attack because that's what's going to decide this race. So let's gel up right now. I'd rather have a small group and just lose a sprint and finish third with three riders or finish sixth with six riders or fifth with six riders than missing out entirely and trying to down. race for seventh or eighth place. So we'll scoot forward, scoot forward. The percentages are very high. Breck using the last of his energy to help us out and we're going to try to uh, escape out of this thing. The riders are entering the last 15 kilometers of the stage. And he moves on to the attack. It could be decisive. Not punchy enough. The cap's going to open in front of us while we're technically sprinting. There you go. Group of seven. Yes. Group of seven. Oh, I like that. Oh, it's back to 14, though. Simmons, Costafois, th those really good sprinters. AFP is not that. He's just got that excellent race day condition today. Here we go. Last hill. And it's an attack by just don't get yourself from. dropped. Now it's 11. 10. A oh, couple riders, though, that are a little punchier. Alaphilippe, Simmons, Yermakov. They all have really, really high punch rates. And now all of a sudden we are in that next group riding for fourth place. But recovering. Let's hope the seven of us can catch the three ahead. And we've got a shot at beating out some of them at least. we got a 69 sprint, 77 acceleration. And we certainly have some stamina left to compete here at the end. Why Kankis is here. One of the motorcyclists says that a rider the is Hershey, Apparently it's the same guy as from the, the last race. one. Largely the same group, other than that AFP is here. 5k to go. Uh, sorry, Breck. Left you hanging way back here. Riding all alone. 4k to go. 3.5k to go. I do not like being at the back of the group. We're going to have to make our way forward. And we've already covered half that ground. 2.5k to go. And now we're near the front of the group. 1.8k to go, and now we're leading out the entire group. 
1k to go. We're starting from the front position. We're not going to win this thing. No way are we winning this thing, but we are not going to finish last either. Look how close we are. We're half a bike length from the front. Alaphilippe, Wykankis, Simmons, Wendling, AFP gets 5th place. That's a good result. Yermakov, Hershey, we, we beat out half of those guys. And we did it from the front. And you can see we had just a little bit of energy left at the finish. So that was good timing on when we went and the way we did that. So we pulled that off pretty well. We left guys like Rubio and Bernal behind. Vlasov, Mataway, Moscun. A lot of good climbers missed out entirely on that one. Breck. Comes across the line in 21st. Ah, so close to a top 20 for him. But there you go. Uh, it looks like Vermark also pushing for line 23rd for him. That's going to do it for this episode, though. I'm the Cathlon Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. And bye for now. A rider has just